In this film, we're going to tell you what to expect when you have a lumbar puncture. A lumbar puncture, also referred to as a spinal tap, is a procedure carried out to take a sample of the fluid that circulates around the brain and spinal cord. This is called cerebrospinal fluid, which is often shortened to CSF. The CSF sample is used to determine the presence of certain medical conditions, enabling appropriate treatment to be given. A lumbar puncture can also be used to inject small amounts of medication into the fluid around the brain and spinal cord. You'll need to sign a consent form before your procedure. A specialist nurse or doctor will go through this with you and you can ask as many questions as you like. If you're taking blood thinning medications such as warfarin, dabigatran, rivaroxaban, tinzaparin, clopidogrel or aspirin, you may be asked to stop this for a period before your procedure. Please check with the team who are going to perform your lumbar puncture. You may need a blood test to check how well your blood clots. You must also tell your nurse or doctor if you've previously had an allergic reaction to any local anaesthetics. You can eat and drink normally before having a lumbar puncture. The procedure is carried out by a nurse or doctor and normally takes about 30 minutes. You will be asked to change into a gown. You will usually be asked to lie on one side on a couch and close to the edge, curled up so that your lower back is exposed. Sometimes you may be asked to sit upright, leaning forward over a table. Whatever position you're in, it's important that you're able to stay very still, so make sure that you're comfortable. Your nurse or doctor will sit behind you throughout the procedure and you can talk to them about how you're feeling. First, the skin around your lower back will be cleaned. The nurse or doctor will then inject local anaesthetic under the skin in the area where the procedure will be carried out to numb it. This may sting a little before the skin goes numb. Once the skin has gone numb, the nurse or doctor will pass a very fine needle through the skin and between the bones at the base of your spine to collect a small sample of CSF. The needle is inserted well below the end of the spinal cord in your spine to ensure the procedure is done safely. In some cases, the nurse or doctor will need to insert the needle more than once to ensure they collect the CSF sample from exactly the right spot. A lumbar puncture can be uncomfortable, but it's not usually painful. You'll normally feel some pressure in your lower back when the needle first enters your body. If you feel any pain during the procedure, let your doctor or nurse know. You may need more anaesthetic. You can ask for the needle to be taken out if there's too much discomfort. All people are different and experiences during a lumbar puncture vary. Some people feel anxious because of the needle's closeness to the spine. Talk to your nurse or doctor to let them know how you're feeling at any time. You can ask for whatever you think will make you more comfortable. For example, music to help you relax, calming aromas or soft toys, or simply to hold hands with a friend or relative. If you're receiving an injection of drugs into the CSF, this will be done through the needle after the CSF sample has been collected. This is painless and takes only a few seconds. Once the CSF sample has been collected and any drugs given, the needle is taken out and a dressing or plaster will be put on your lower back. Once the lumbar puncture is over, you will be asked to lie flat for at least 30 minutes to help prevent getting a headache. Some people choose to stay lying down for up to two to three hours. Let your nurse or doctor know how you feel and ask for anything you need. Drinking plenty of fluid may also help prevent a headache. You can usually go home the same day and you should rest at home for the remainder of the day. After you go home, you may experience some pain around the injection site in your lower back. You may also develop a headache. Both of these are usually mild and will wear off after a day or so. Both should respond to mild over-the-counter pain relief, such as paracetamol and drinking plenty of fluid. You may find that the headache goes away when you lie down. A lumbar puncture is a low-risk procedure. There is an extremely small risk of bleeding or infection following a lumbar puncture. 
Tell your hospital team straight away if the site becomes more painful, red or swollen after you go home. You should contact your hospital if you develop a fever, severe headache or backache, vomiting or numbness or tingling in your legs. Your test results will be discussed when you next attend the clinic. If there's any reason why your medical team needs to see you sooner, they will contact you and arrange an earlier appointment. If you have any questions or concerns about any aspect of your lumbar puncture, you should contact your hospital.